in Finland, um, one of the key issues to understand is that we are a nation of two official languages. Finnish, which is obviously spoken by more than 90% of the people, and then Swedish, which is spoken by about six, a bit less than 6% of the people. But they are official languages and they have the status. And in that sense, intercultural learning comes already from within and on top of having full curricula for for Finnish and Swedish uh, native tongues so we have also a bit more narrow curricula for these minority languages Sami, Roma, Sign and I think that is already showing that as we have all of those in our core curriculum that we try to spread uh, cultural understanding via the appreciation and learning of languages. Interactive competence or interaction competence, meaning that we try to promote language awareness, speaking, communicating in the way that we speak, understandably appreciating the others' languages and linguistic capabilities, we try to listen, stop and listen and make the other one felt, feel that he or she is being heard. We also have societal competence uh, and that means that we try to help kids to learn to promote democracy uh, as active citizens. In a way, something that uh, encompasses the whole thinking, that's uh, global citizenship. So we try to promote through all the competencies an approach in our kids, in our youngsters, uh, that would promote their um, understanding of what being a global citizen means and how, how they can adopt and build the capacities that they have in themselves and through their schoolmates and through the widening circles in life. Of course, agencies like mine, we provide also all kinds of information, documents, guidelines. We provide and we finance in-service training and intercultural learning is there always, at least an ingredient of many offers that we have. And then we have, of course, focused issues as well. But this is again the, the problem with the time. The teachers in Finland and I'm sure in many, many countries are pulled in a way into pieces because um, there are all these important issues that they should be able to teach. And there's only so little time per day. And intercultural learning is of course only one issue amongst many trendy pedagogical things but then again uh, the teachers we try to help them to see that it's part of everything everything they are teaching and uh, it really should be reflected in the school culture so they don't have to pressurize themselves the teachers all the time but the school itself should in a way reflect the same thinking on and on. Grown-ups need to try and understand what is important for youngsters culturally, what is culturally valuable for them and how they actually in practice define culture and action in between cultures. But in a way, I think the new generation of teachers really will be more competent to handle this kind of challenges, understanding the changed landscape of cultural uh, interaction of, of youngsters. Mm -hmm.